Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. We don't have too much left to go in the fighters category, although obviously there's a lot more categories to go through. Uh, this episode will be covering the Super Tender. Super Tender, titled Assault Super Tender. Type Single Seat Transonic Carrier Based Strike Fighter program. The Super Tendered was developed for the French Navy as an updated version of its E-Tendered 4M carrier based fighter, which served with operational squadrons since 1962. The airframe and the equipment of the Super Tendered were expected to be 90% common with those of the 4M, except for the nav attack system. In fact, the installation of a more powerful turbojet engine and equipment of enhanced capability, together with the adoption of improved aerodynamic features and modern manufacturing techniques made the Super Tender 90% new. It is basically a transonic single seat strike fighter for low and medium altitude operations from ships in the class of the French Navy's Clemenceau and Folk. Its equipment includes a highly sophisticated and accurate nav attack integrated avionics system. Inherent long range is increased by flight refueling capability and it is able to operate as a tanker for other aircraft. Design features, cantilever mid-wing monoplane. Thickness cord ratio varies from 6% at root to 5% at tip, and hydro 3 degrees, 30 minutes. Sweep back at quarter cord, 45 degrees, all moving tailplane. All tail surface is swept. Structure, the wing is an all-metal two-spar torsion box structure. Stressed skin of machine panels with integral stiffeners. Tips fold upward for carrier stowage. The fuselage is a semi-monocoque structure wasted in accordance with area rule. The tall unit, or the tail unit, is a cantilever all-metal structure with tail plane mid-set on fin. Landing gear. Retractable tricycle type with single wheel on each unit manufactured by Messier Hispano Bugatti. Nose wheel retracts rearward, main units inward into wings and fuselage. Messier Hispano Bugatti oleal pneumatic shock absorbers and disc brakes. Power plant 1 SNECMA ATAR 8K-50 non-afterburning turbojet rated at 49 kN or 11,025 pounds force. Fuel and integral tanks and wings and rubber tanks and fuselage with total capacity of 3,270 liters or 845 gallons or 719 imperial gallons. Provision for an external tank of 1,100 liters or 290 US gallons or 242 imperial gallons under each wing and a 600 liter or 158 US gallon or 132 imperial gallon centerline tank or flight refueling buddy pack under the fuselage. Retractable flight refueling probe and fairing in front of windscreen. Accommodation pilot only on Hipano. Is that supposed to be a Hispano or Hipano? I'm not sure if that's actually a typo or not. Uh, Pano built Martin Baker SEMMB CM for a lightweight ejection seat and pressurized and air-conditioned cockpit. Excuse me, extensively armored. Avionics and equipment. Sagam Kierfot ETNA inertial navigation and attack system. Thompson CSF ESD, now the Salt Electronique. Agave lightweight search track designation telemetry navigation radar. Thompson CSF VE120 head-up display. Cruisal Type 97 Navigation Display, Armament Control Panel and Selector Box, and Type 66 Air Data Computer. TRT Radio Altimeter, SFIM, 3-Axis Attitude Indicator, LMT Micro Tacken, and IFF with Socrat VOR. Armament, two DEFA 30mm guns, each with 125 rounds and bottom of engine air intake trucks. Under fuselage attachments were two 250kg bombs. Four underwing attachments for 400 kilogram bombs, magic air air missiles, or rocket pods. Optionally, one Exocet AM39 air to surface missile under starboard wing, and one external fuel tank under port wing. French Navy Super Tenders are equipped to carry tactical nuclear weapons. Dimensions external wingspan 9.6 meters or 31 feet 6 inches. Width wings folded 7.8 meters or 25 feet 7 inches. Wing aspect ratio 3.23. Length overall 14.31 meters or 46 feet 11 and a half inches. Height overall 3.86 meters or 12 feet 8 inches. Areas, wings, gross 28.4 meters squared or 305.7 square feet. Weights and loadings, weight empty 6,500 kilograms or 14,330 pounds. Max fuel, including two 1,100 liter underwing tanks, 4,800 kilograms or 10,500 pounds. 
Max weapon load, internal fuel only, 2100 kilograms or 4630 pounds. Performance, max level speed at height, approximately Mach 1. Max level speed at low altitude, uh, 637 knots or 1180 kilometers per hour or 733 miles per hour. Service ceiling, 13,700 meters or 45,000 feet. Length 14.31 meters, height 3.86 meters, wingspan 9.6 meters, max level speed 637 knots, and a service ceiling at 13,700 meters. And here we can see the infamous Super Intendard, which mostly got its fame through attacking the British fleet uh, when Argentinian uh, Super Intendards used Exocet missiles to attack the British Naval Task Force in the Falklands War. And I believe it's mostly out of service with Argentina right now because they can barely fund anything resembling the armed forces really right now. They've got a severe budget crunch. They even uh, retired, I think they official, finally officially retired the carrier. And the superintendent is also out of service with the French Navy as it has been replaced by the Dassault Raphael M. Of course, I have more information in the, uh, in the, act, the aircraft showcases that are you know, showcasing the aircraft rather than the, the Jane's information database that came with the game. But we can see here, this looks like, uh, if I had a guess, these look like the markings for a French Navy superintendent with whatever the 26th squadron would be for them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so kind of a unique design, but uh, definitely a long served one considering you know, they had the Attendard 4M, and it probably, uh, what was it? I think it started as the Attendard 2. I think a couple of those Attendard numbers might have been prototypes, but. One of the uh, few other attack, well, carrier-based attack aircraft in the world uh, that aren't made by the U.S., considering our carrier dominance, but, uh, yeah, so... I think that will conclude this episode. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.